Spinners and Sharks, I just got back from work and got this news over here. If you're gonna get Mirage My Vegas Rewards, do it now because it looks like they're going away in the near future. Let me explain what's happening. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon members that help keep us independent and growing. More on that later. Hey Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, hope you're doing well. Yes, you heard that correctly. This might be the end of my Vegas rewards for the Mirage. It looks like MGM just announced to its employees that they're going to be selling the property sometime here in the new future. Now this is hot on the heels with them uh, actually announcing that they'd be purchasing operations from the Cosmo. And I believe that was actually just a little earlier this month. We got the official confirmation. Um, no, actually, it was earlier last month in October, come to think of it. Sorry, I'm still a little flustered. This is kind of a big surprise for me. I didn't expect MGM to be, well, selling one of their biggest properties. So I figured I'd go ahead and flip down here and, uh, you know, play a little bit of Mirage just in the meantime while we speculate about what this would mean. Oh, and you know, here's an interesting thing. The game's already off of uh, My Vegas Mobile. Now, I know it it's not a big game, and we probably haven't played it in a really long time, but I think it was one of the best games on My Vegas at one point or another. So, yeah, seeing that it's already gone is interesting, and that also kind of tracks with the fact that a lot of their other casino based games aren't on here anymore. So, I'm wondering if it's a licensing thing or what have you, but I guess we shouldn't be surprised about that. We'll take a look at the rewards too, just to see if that's slimmed down any now that they've made the announcement. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the announcement in a bit more detail over here while I show you the letter that officially went out to MGM employees. Come take a look. All right, Spinners and Sharks, this is nuts. This is the first time I've had a chance to read this letter, so I'm gonna be reading it straight away ad hoc. Here we go. Colleagues, today we are announcing that after careful consideration, we have made the decision to sell the operations of the Mirage to another operator, a move that we believe is best for the long-term success of both the property and MGM Resorts. The Mirage is a world-class iconic property with unique attractions that's ripe for continued investment and development. It will be the crown jewel in another operator's portfolio, which is why we believe a sale makes strategic sense at this time. We are committed to continuing to maintain and develop our existing Las Vegas portfolio with no plans for other changes on the strip at this time. I want to thank our valued team members at the Mirage for making it such an amazing property and for being excellent ambassadors of MGM Resorts. You truly embody what it means to serve others and create memorable experiences for our guests, and I know you will continue to do so during this transition. On a personal note, I will always hold fond memories of the Mirage as I was part of the team that opened the property in 1989 and spent the early part of my career there. It's a remarkable resort with great brand recognition and a strong, loyal following. I know many of our Mirage team members and their colleagues will have questions about the future of the resort and their role in it. I'm confident in the leadership team at Mirage and know they will communicate openly and transparently during this time. Please know that we have not yet sold the operations of the property to another buyer. So for now, and during the eventual transition, it's business as usual. The Mirage has served us well over the years, and I'm certain it will continue to be a success with the new operator in the future. Thank you. Bill Hornbuckle, CEO and President. Furthermore, MGM Resorts released a FAQ for all of their employees. It goes as follows. Do I still have a job? Yes, it's business as usual during the process, and we ask that you continue to focus on your responsibilities and our guests. Really hard to do when you're worried about your job there, I'm sure, but hey. What will happen to my healthcare, paycheck, etc. No changes to the healthcare benefits, paychecks, or work schedule at this time, so that's nice to hear. What can employees and guests expect? The announcement will not immediately affect daily operations, employees, or customers. The most important thing we can all do is remain focused on our responsibilities to ensure that we continue satisfying your guests and business partners. So it sounds like for now, you'll be able to get your M-Life rewards through My Vegas as well as through Mirage at this time. No major changes and your reservations shouldn't be terribly affected. What happens if this process is not successful? Throughout this process and regardless of its outcome, we are focused on executing against our strategic plan and positioning our company for long-term growth, which includes continually evaluating opportunities that enhance the guest experience and shareholder value. The way I read that is, if at first we don't succeed, we'll try it again. Good luck. But that's just my personal opinion. Are the unions aware of this? Yes, the unions who represent employees at the Mirage are aware of our decision. 
Can I still apply for other positions at other MGM Resorts properties? And looks like they still can. You can still apply for positions at other MGM Resorts properties and our normal hiring policies still apply. But it looks like they want people to stick around because they follow up with, however, we are counting on our team at the Mirage to continue operating the property and maintaining successful operations during this time. And then finally they ask about will all employees retain seniority dates at Mirage if the property is sold, and that's going to depend on whoever buys it. Oh man, that was stressful to read. I had to crack a bottle to get over that. Mm. Okay. But yeah, so basically, at this point, we have no idea when exactly the Mirage is going to be going away. So that makes it a little bit troublesome. And obviously, this is probably part of the MGM 2020 plan. I'm sure they've seemingly adjusted this based on what's happened with the pandemic going around. And it, the 2020 plan was to reduce assets and increase cash flow. So that's pretty clear why they'd bother doing this. Now, I think a couple other big questions that remain are who is going to buy this. I think Blackstone still owns the property. I'll go ahead and confirm who owns the property right now. Last I checked, they were in a lease-back deal with MGM, so I'm not sure if that's going to change at all, too. But at this point, it doesn't look like there are too many great rewards for uh, my Vegas here. It looks like there are a couple of free play rewards. You've got a couple uh, secret garden tickets, so if you're looking for those, now might be the time. I booked my last two complimentary nights, hopefully in December, so I'd say book those as soon as possible. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen to the complimentary nights, but I do have an idea, just in case the sale goes through, before your reservation is able to be completed. So here's what my thought is. If it's anything like it is during the pandemic, or was during the pandemic before everything reopened, what they did was they moved you to a different property, and it was usually a step up. Now, for example, if you were booked at MGM Grand, you would actually get bumped up to the Mirage, ironically, and they wouldn't charge you a difference on that. Same deal with Mirage. If you were booked at Mirage and they weren't quite ready yet, they just go ahead and send you up to Bellagio, put you in a tower room, yada yada yada, you'd have a good time. And I'm guessing that's probably what they'll end up doing here. Um, that probably makes sense as to why they haven't really been reloading a lot of the actual complimentary rewards here and why it's been so thin on a lot of these properties. So with the transition from Mirage going into Cosmo, it kind of makes me wonder how many more of these properties are going to change. So that'll be an interesting thing to see in the future. But I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a heads up on that, just in case you were doing some vacation planning. If you're going for the Mirage, do it now. Otherwise, there's some other properties. Obviously, Cosmo's coming. They finished the deal for that. I think they're just working on some logistics. I had a video ready for today about that, but that's just going to have to go off until Friday, I suppose, just so I don't oversaturate you guys with news. So that was interesting. Otherwise, there are plenty of other little room rewards that you can get around here. There are plenty of other partners. You still have Aria. You still have Mandalay Bay, which objectively is a better property than Mirage anyway, aside from the location. There's still Aria. There's still Vidara, even though the rewards on Vidara have been a little thin, too. I've noticed that there are a couple there are only two rewards for Vidara right now and then otherwise it encourages you to go check out other ones so I'm wondering if Vidara is going to go away too as far as rewards go so they can make more room for Cosmo but that's just a thought that I had going forward but anyway that's all I got for the Mirage I'll let you guys know as soon as we get some more information on it and we'll do a new in-depth video about it later all right spinners and sharks that's it for today's video if you enjoyed today's news report and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Once again, big shout out to our friend Kino Kid for dropping the story on us, and even more importantly, our Patreon members. Guys, it means the galaxy to me that you keep supporting me in this way, and help me stay independent of the YouTube algorithm and its random fluctuating ad rates. If you guys want a more direct hand in helping the channel grow, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. But while we're still on the subject, tell me about your thoughts about Mirage. Are you guys ready to take one final stay at Mirage? Are you going to stick with them even if they are sold to a non-MGM portfolio operator? Or do you think that MGM is going to lose your business forever? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas.
Jesus.